everyone. Hi. Hey. It's really hard starting a YouTube video. <laughs> hey everyone, I want to say a massive welcome to all the new subscribers that have joined up in the last couple of weeks. Loads of you came after we were featured on the amazing Exploring Alternatives channel. That was a bit of a buzz being featured on there because I love that channel and have watched them for ages and I love their work. If you're a new subscriber and you've got some ideas or questions that you want to see answered in my videos, do let me know in the comments because I read them all and I'm always looking for cool creative things I can cover in these videos. It finally feels like we're kind of moving through spring into summer here on the farm. There's all sorts of beautiful springy things happening. So our ducks are sitting on eggs. Interestingly, there's two ducks sitting on one nest of eggs, which I've never seen before. They're just like snuggled up there, like kind of co-mothering this little nest of eggs. So that's pretty sweet. Soon there'll be these little bundles of fluff wandering around the farm. Usually we take them and put them in a little safe place to make sure they can thrive because there are heaps of things that kill ducklings around here. Honestly, eels, hawks, pukeko, ferrets, stoats, possums, rats, everything is out to kill those little things. But this year we're actually probably just gonna leave it. We're just gonna kinda say good luck little ones and let them survive or not. That's hardcore, eh? Sometimes you just gotta let nature do its thing now, you know? We've also borrowed a bull from our next door neighbor who is in the field right now, making sweet love to our ladies. He's a bit of a beast. He looks like a woolly mammoth or something, but he's quite the gentleman. He's sort of just, you know, taking it slow, taking it easy. And they're all just, they're getting along, man. They're having a bit of a party in that meadow. growing it seems to be growing quite slowly but it's like that when you put in all seedlings there you're so anxious for them to grow that it can feel a little bit like come on <laughs> I've also put in loads of flowers because I just want this place to be like a riot of color and I've never really grown flowers successfully before so if you've got any tips let me know I can't even remember half of the ones that I've put in but I hope they make it I hope I can just be like a flower lady. That's my dream. Marigolds. I love marigolds. We came back from Barrett Island feeling really like creatively inspired. Sometimes we get so bogged down just in like all the things we need to do around the farm just to function. It's just like job, job, job. And I forget kind of how important like aesthetics are for me. Like I really love to just feast my eyes on beautiful things. So I've decided I'm gonna try and get really good at making mosaics. I've only ever made one before, but this week I started a little bird on a big paving stone and I'm just gonna try and put those all around the place. Cause that's really our big issue here is there's heaps of mud. So if I can do really beautiful, colorful paving stones, that will be functional and beautiful. This week I finished my fifth book and I'm buzzing about that. It's all about moon circles which is a thing that um, I have with a few women in my community. We get together every new moon and we build a fire and we just kind of share what's on our hearts and we do kind of a load of crazy stuff and it's so great, it's so powerful and so transformative. So I've kind of written my story into this book and have given a few ideas about how people could start their own and I just yesterday sent it off to be proofed and edited. I can't wait to just send that out into the world. And, 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 I mean it has literally been the busiest week ever. Ramona turned seven. I actually can't believe that she's seven. I can remember having little babies and like seeing seven year olds around and being like they're so old. Those mums must be amazing to have a seven year old. <laughs> and like, I can remember being seven really, really clearly. Anything before seven is like a hazy memory and everything after seven is like 
crystal clear for me. I can remember my outfits. I can remember having a neon tutu and a neon stripy legging set that matched my neon crop top. And I can remember wearing it. It was the 80s, everything was neon. I probably need more neon in my life, actually. I used to love skateboarding. I used to love watching Neighbours, the TV show. You know, I can remember all of my childhood from Seven and it's kind of really cool to think that that's possibly going to happen for a moment now. What are you guys making? I'm, I'm making, making the cookie balls. Oh yeah? I'm making cookie balls. I was going to cookie I'm making cookie balls. Do you guys want to come and do um, Ramona's birthday cake? No, not yet. Sure, just finish that mud cake and then we'll have a real cake. Yay! 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 Well, there's oh, seven candles. You've you got to be them joking. All out. Seven? How did you get to be? So we had a cool birthday, she only got a few presents, um, but really good kind of meaningful presents and stuff that she had really asked for and really wanted and I feel like that's the way to go. When I was wrapping her three prezzies, I was feeling like, oh, other kids get way more than this. Having hundreds of presents and half of them, ones that will be forgotten within a few days, is not really... A beautiful thing and I'm just really hoping that she'll look back on her childhood and feel grateful that we didn't flood her with hundreds of toys and instead just chose a few really kind of meaningful ones if you know what I mean I don't know what do you reckon <laughs> I might be hoping Tim is busy today he is working on building a little outdoor kitchen because we've got a whole bunch, like 150 people coming over for a big New Year's camp, a whole bunch of unschoolers. So um, Tim and the neighbour are spending like a couple of days a week at the moment building all the facilities for that. We're really excited about it and it's taking over our lives. You know when things are a bit of a combo like that? <laughs> so next week I'm going to be answering some specific yurty questions. So if you've got any questions about living in a yurt, let me know in the comments. And I'm going to be revealing the absolute worst thing about living in a yurt. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not already a subscriber. See you next time. Keep radical.